Hello World. My title today is Lifesaver App. You think about it, let's talk about it. Texting and driving is a major public health hazard. Over a million crashes every year happen in the US just because people were texting while driving. In fact, if you text while you drive, they say uh, crashes are 23 times more likely. Now, I confess that uh, I have uh, texted while driving. In fact, it's called driving while intoxicated to play off diving while intoxicated. They think texting while driving is worse than texting while drunk. Uh, the way I justify it is try to use my voice to text feature or, or justify it by putting the phone right in front of my windshield so I can see what else is happening. But the more I read about this major public health uh, hazard, I think it's not worth the price and the cost of texting while driving. Everything can wait. I wish the automobile and the mobile phone industries would, would come up with a solution to this, to completely disable texting while driving. It'll help me for sure, I'm sure it's going to help you. But there are some solutions, partial solutions, that are being discovered even right now. For example, protective lifesaver apps, where uh, others can monitor your behavior and reward you for keeping away from texting while driving. I'm told uh, that others know while you are texting if you are driving, and, and they'll let you know that you shouldn't be doing that. Some teenagers were asked if uh, they would give up driving or texting. They said they'll give up driving in order to text because texting is a convenient way of, of communicating. There are also preventive lifesaver apps, not only protective ones. But the best one, as I said, if it can be found, discovered, innovated, and applied is to disable all texting whenever there's movement, driving or, or walking even. Uh, I'm sure you've had the experience of somebody walking over you. And I'm glad that I've not run over anybody yet uh, texting while moving. That'll be a protective one. I've decided not to uh, text while moving. And perhaps at a stoplight, and only when I'm stopped or go to the side of the road in order to address immediate and apparently urgent matters, which could not wait. There's also practical ways to protect you from using your texting, uh, other lifesaver apps. Uh, for example, uh, nutrition apps are lifesaver apps. They try to uh, give you some positive contribution to life. Or workout apps, when uh, I travel sometimes, I uh, look into these to see how many stomach crunches I need uh, to do in order to keep somewhat healthy. So preventive, protective, and positive lifesaver apps are good for physical living, but I want to suggest that there's some for your spiritual life. Almost every religion philosophy, uh, they provide partial solutions, protective and preventive and practical lifesaver apps. Every wisdom tradition would give you that. However, there is a final crash that is coming. And you need a Lifesaver app that you can download, which will not only reward good behavior, which will not only give practical instruction and guidelines for life as a religion for life or a philosophy of life. Uh, I am speaking about a Lifesaver himself. The Lord Jesus says that God has committed all judgment to him. That means all of us are eventually going to crash. And the only way that we can be rescued from that final crash is by the ultimate lifesaver that you can download into your life, regardless of what religious platform, what philosophical background, what cultural uh, preference you have, what language you use, what caste you belong to. Uh, there is one lifesaver app because God has not destined us to wrath, but for salvation, if you would download the Lord Jesus as the Life Savior app. 
Uh, would you do that right now? Just tell him, uh, I want to receive you into my life as the savior of my life. Uh, for preventive purposes in terms of the ultimate judgment, for protective purposes when I eventually face it, but for practical purposes even right now. You think about what I've just said, and let's talk about it. Uh, contact me right away, and we'd be happy to receive your comments. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.